Hello friends, this is a behind the scenes of my design process for the creator box. Hello guys, I'm just sat in my studio and I'm actually waiting to jump on the call with Tom from Design Cut uh, and we're just going to jump on my uh, meeting, Skype call uh, to discuss about creating a new series on my channel, um, like a pro creator series. So I'm excited to chat to him about that in the newsletter. Uh, I've got 15 minutes to go so I'm just going to... James asked me to be part of the creator box, I knew that I wanted to create washi tapes that had some sort of watercolor element. So I decided to whip out my Shinhan watercolor palette and my favorite watercolor paper and I just started painting a whole bunch of green leaves. I knew that I wanted to incorporate leaves into that washi tape because it's one of the things that I love to paint the most and it just felt so right to create a washi tape with the watercolor leaves that I like to put on almost all of my journal spreads and finish artworks. So I decided to paint a whole bunch of leaves in different green shades and then I decided to kind of do a few variations in different colors such as brown because I wasn't sure if I wanted my leaves to be in the traditional green tone or if I wanted to kind of explore the earthier colors that I like to play around in my journal. The zine pages for the creator box were one of the hardest things to plan for just because I had no idea what to use for those pages. I wasn't sure if I wanted to use some existing journal spreads to showcase or create some new artwork and I didn't know if I should go the digital route and use my iPad and Procreate or use some paints to actually paint something. I ended up using my gouache paints, which were relatively new to me at that time, and I just kind of experimented, and I settled on using these little Polaroid paintings with different landscapes as the basis for one of the zine pages. I kind of created a whole bunch of paintings and things to use for the zine pages because I was unsure, but this is one of the first few things that I wanted to paint. And this was originally supposed to be turned into a sticker set, actually, or at least some sort of vinyl sticker. And at the time of the painting, I actually didn't know if I was going to use this in the creator box at all. It was kind of nice just painting this for fun because I had no idea that this would someday turn into one of the paintings that made it into the final creator box zine.
I wasn't fully satisfied with all four of the mini paintings, but at least I had a few options to add to the zine. I also had two more pages to kind of figure out for the zine, so I thought I would create one larger piece of artwork that I could use on one page, and then the other page of the zine could just showcase a few photos from my Instagram and some journal spreads that I like. So I decided to start painting one of the larger paintings, and I thought I would create a landscape in an orange and yellow monochrome color scheme with a panda in the middle, just because I thought that would kind of encapsulate the colors that I like to use and things that I like to paint or draw, which are pandas and leaves. So that's what I decided on. And it kind of took a while because I wanted to use gouache, but I knew that I had to use watercolors just because I wasn't fully comfortable with using gouache for that piece. Um, all of my hands, you guys, are so dirty. I think I'm used to now having my hands all blue or like different colors or having stains on literally, guys, all of my jeans and trousers. It's something that I think is like, it comes with the job, I guess. <laughs> but yeah. Mm. Hi, guys. I'm listening to The Smiths now because it's the album that I have to listen to. <laughs> anyway. After working on this piece, I knew that I had to go back to creating washi tape designs because I only had one design completed. So I got my iPad out and my Apple Pencil and started doodling. I wanted this other washi tape to be a little bit more fun and playful, which included doodles and my current favorite line work style, which incorporates some sort of wavy line into the leaves. I really enjoyed creating this washi because it kind of resembles what my day-to-day -day planner and my bullet journal looks like with all of these little illustrations. And I knew that I wanted it to be in brown, just like all the other craft paper items in my stationery stash. These are the three completed washi tape designs, and they're all a little bit unique and a little bit different. But I personally really like the pink one just because it incorporates a lot of traditional media and collaging along with some digital elements like the digital sketch marks that I added. Um, painting, I actually painted it out um, with my watercolors and it's mixed media because I used some pencil crayons and I scanned in and I think it looks hilarious. Um, it kind of gives me like Wicked Witch of the West being flattened by that house in um, the Wizard of Oz vibes. Um, but when I went and tried to actually design it, so um, I actually, yeah, I tried my best to, like, work on it. And it just looks so busy. Because I know that the template says, I am blank. I do this because I use creativity. And that's a sentence, but I don't know. The teacher in me is just like, I need to complete full sentences. So I went, I am Job, I do this because I love to create things. I use art as a means to document my memories and experiences. Creativity is boundless. And like, that's something that I I want to do in my final draft. But I used Procreate to create the these hand lettered like words. So I used like a, uh, like a pencil brush and then my calligraphy brush um, on Procreate. But it just looks really busy and then I actually used the washi tape design because I thought, oh, that would be cool to like bring in some continuity. So this is actually the same washi tape design, but blown up slightly larger. And then I changed the color to um, a beige. But then, I don't know, as a whole, it just looks really messy. Um, so I went back to the drawing board and I wanted to do something similar to the portraits, the Polaroid portraits that I been working on and I've been really liking this cloud style that I've been doing in some of my paintings so I thought huh why don't I do something that incorporates a lot of clouds and then I thought okay a hot air balloon so that was the third this was the second version so I painted it and it didn't scan very well so this is the actual painting and it looks kind of so I did an underpainting with a pink pink bleed or wash of watercolor and then I wanted to do an overpainting and cover it up so the clouds are kind of like the negative um, space so I wouldn't color the clouds in 
with pink, but I actually colored the spaces around it to make the clouds. And then I went over with white, no, um, pink gouache, but it just, I don't know, it looked really messy because the texture in the watercolors is super evident. And I know that looks, it looks cool if it's in intentional, but maybe it would have looked better with gouache or if I chose a different color for the sky because I chose an orange color because that's the type of color that I like, but it just, it just didn't work out. And all the details in the hot air balloon were lost in the scan and I couldn't find a way to retrieve it. Um, and this was supposed to be like a burnt orange, but when it scanned, it turned red and I was having a hard time recovering the color on Photoshop. So I abandoned that. And then I just went back to these Polaroid paintings that I made and I thought, why don't I just use these? So I scanned it in. Um, let's see where it is. I scanned it in and I think I like how this looks. So I scanned them in individually thinking that I could maybe... Um, Sorry, this is the one that I wanted to show. I thought I could just like use one, um, but I ended up scanning all three with a craft paper background and I wanted it to be in the scan. I didn't want it to use like, like a, a faux digital texture. I wanted an actual piece of craft paper on the, on the scan because that's something that I use a lot in my own journaling. So I thought, okay, I, I'll use actual craft paper. And it, it turned out pretty cool. I really liked how it, how it looks. Um, so I went and brought it back to Photoshop and this is where we're at. So I think I'm going to delete, I know we're not supposed to do this, but I'm going to delete this dotted line and then I'm going to change the text color from black to maybe a white or something that uh, looks good on both this light yellow, this dark brown, and then the craft paper. And then I'm going to leave the fill in of these, um, elements as white and then do some hand lettering and then I think the quote that I wanted to write down I think I'm going to keep it um, as a type face like use a regular font instead of handwriting it to keep it looking a little bit neater because this just looked a little bit messy for me I really like how the lettering looks like the the calligraphy that I did but the the pencil crayon effect just looks a little bit too much coupled with the craft paper and then the washi tape design. It's just a lot. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed that little blurb. That was a really long blurb actually, it was seven minutes. But um, yeah, this page has been giving me a lot of anxiety because I am overthinking it. I think if I just printed it out and actually painted on top of the paper, it would have been easier, but oh well. So yeah, I'm gonna try and work on this and then yeah, call it a night because it's already 10 p.m. and I have an early day at work tomorrow. There's a lot of early meetings, so yeah, good night. That was just a long-winded way to say that this is how I ended up using James's template. I made a few minor tweaks, but I ended up liking how this turned out. It is a nice balance between traditional media and some digital media. And this is how my other zine page turned out. The scan of this painting wasn't the greatest, but I thought I would use it just because it was punchy and it kind of encapsulated what my art style was about. So I ended up using it. I kind of regret it now, but that's all right. Maybe it's just another encouragement to continue exploring that type of style. The third and final page of the zine that I had to design was a little bit easier to assemble because it was more of a collage page of all my favorite photos from my Instagram and other artworks that I loved. So it was just a matter of assembling them onto a spread and then adding some fun doodles to them. This is actually the final three zine pages that I created. I think they look cohesive and I really like how they encapsulate my art style and where my art style is kind of headed towards. And now I'm just showing you a quick unboxing of the parcel that James sent me with all of the amazing Crater Box goodies. I was so shocked to see a whole bunch of washi tapes that he threw in as a little bit of an extra or freebie. And it's so nice of him to send me these because um, I was able to share these washi tapes with some 
um, friends and family who were excited to see my work um, in a physical washi tape. It's still so surreal to me and I'm so thankful for James for asking me to be part of this wonderful project. I've linked all of the other fellow creators and artists down below and I've linked James's info down below just in case you are expecting another creator box in the future. I think there will totally be another creator box. I know that this first round um, or this first creator box has sold out, but um, I would continue stocking James's page because I know he has something up his sleeve and I'm sure that he's planning to do another one of these in the future. So that is it, folks. I hope you enjoyed watching my little behind the scenes process and I hope that this has inspired you to create stuff and get out your paints and to just do some art that did not make sense but i'm a little bit loopy i think i took too many tylenols as you can tell i'm still a little bit sick but thank you so much for watching and i will see you all next time everyone bye mm -hmm.